Hello, amazing artists. It's great to see you. Uh, you've all been doing some beautiful work. I have loved having you in class. I've loved the discussions that we've been having. Um, your work has been beautiful. It's been fun being creative with you and hearing about what's going on in your hearts and minds. I know so much is happening right now. So over the last few weeks, we've done some cool work, right? We've, we've been introduced to two artists, Frida Kahlo and Carmen Lomas Garza. And we've looked at the bio of Frida Kahlo. And we started to create our own little autobiographies. And we looked at the work of Carmen Lomas Garza. And we started to think about a celebration or a special moment in our own families. We thought about also where we were born and what's the significance of our name and um, what, how our school life is like. So those are all things that we've been working on and we're gonna come back to those and keep working on them. This week though, our assignment is a little bit of a combination. It will be part of your book. So you're gonna be keeping it with all the pages of your book but it's also in connection with the art contest. So if you want it to be part of the art contest, it can, and if you don't, that's totally fine because it's part of your assignment for this week. So the idea for the art contest is, and also for your assignment, is to create a piece of work that shows how you want your community to feel. What hopes and dreams do you have for your community? And Let's, you know, we, we can be real that there is so much happening in our world right now, right? From issues around racial injustice, um, people protesting in the streets supporting the Black Lives Matter movement, um, which is an ongoing movement that has been going on for, for centuries, for a long, long time. And it's powerful that people are staying in their lanes and doing what they can for racial justice, for human equality. So that's super important work. Then we have the coronavirus happening right now. We also have homelessness and we also have, we have the fires, right? The very real fires that we feel every day with the smoke. So there's a lot of, lot of intense things happening every single day. And one thing that we try to hold on to is what, what's possible? What could our vision be for the future? What do we want our communities to look like? So sometimes we have to take a moment to pause and think about that. I see all the destructive things that are happening, but what's the change that I wanna see? What world do I want to imagine? Take a moment to think about that. How do you want your community to be in East Palo Alto, even smaller community at EPAX at our school? And then larger community, how do you want your community to feel across the Bay Area, across California, across the country? across the world, across the whole universe. You know, we have the power inside our hearts and minds and imaginations to dream forth the world that we wanna create. So that's part of what this week's assignment is. What is that world that you wanna create? And it takes the artists, it takes the people with the most beautiful imaginations to really dream those worlds into being. Without people with imaginations, we will stay in the same state that we are right now. Just a, a fun and interesting fact, uh, Patrice Cullors, who was one of the founders of the Black Lives Matter movement, she's an amazing artist. So she inside of herself had the power to dream, the power to imagine something different. And her work is used all the time to show her feelings and to show what she sees and to show what's possible. So now is your chance to work on that. And we'll, we'll work on it more throughout the year, but this is a chance to do a drawing. 
Maybe you want to do a painting. You could use markers. You could use paints. You could use color pencils and show us what you want to see for your world, for your community. And um, if you don't want to use those things, you could also use blocks or Legos and then take a picture of it, right? And upload it to your Seesaw account. And remember, that's going to be your assignment. And it's also part of the art contest. But it's totally fine if you don't want your work to be part of the contest. Well, let's take a look again at that video from Mr. Steve and Mr. Fab and myself about the art contest so we all remember about that as well. Give me one second to share my screen here. And find our very special video. Amazing opportunity right here, artists. We'll be talking about it more in art class this week, but start thinking about your ideas. You have the opportunity to create a piece of artwork that represents the change you want to see in your community, that represents the possibility, that represents the power to dream, that represents you standing up for one another, that represents all that love that we've been talking about, all that love that you have in your beautiful hearts, that shows the power of your imagination, that shows that we continue to dream and our dreams become what is possible. That's what this art contest is gonna be about. We'll talk about it more in art class this week. And there's a chance that your art might be featured at Mr. Fab's store. East Palo Alto Charter School, it's Mr. Steve. I got a special guest, we got a special contest. We're gonna do an art contest. We're gonna pick five students and the winners will get to go to the Dobera store and you'll get a shopping spree. So let me turn it over to my main man, Mr. Fab. Yo, 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 what's going on? East Palo Alto Charter School. Listen, I love art. Let me show y'all how much I love art, man. My, my store is full of so much art, right? I got people from everywhere that come bring us up and get collages in the art, in the art department. Like right here, boom, boom, boom. We got art all over the store. So what we doing is to the top five winners of this art contest that we're having, we're gonna hang whatever it is that you guys create in the store. You get a chance to have your art displayed, man, and get seen by a lot of people because you never know who come in this store. So I just want to wish the, all of you guys the best of luck and um, stay creative and stay focusing on your dreams and your goals. And man, I hope that this year be a year that you manifest everything that it is that you want to do and want to become. Appreciate y'all. The air away. So that's beautiful, right? We have this chance to have our work up in Mr. Fab's store. We have a chance to win a gift certificate to his store. But don't worry, if you don't want to be part of the contest, that's fine too. Uh, I just want you, I just want to see the incredible dreams that you have for your community. So let's get our work done. Let's get it up on Seesaw so we can all see it and share it. And let's keep it in a safe spot so that it can be part of our autobiographies that we're creating that are about ourselves, right? little stories about ourselves and just keep being you keep being creative keep being resilient you know I was talking to Miss Hardinger's class this week about rebounding right we rebound on and off the court right the Marco said when we shoot up a hoop and we miss it we catch our mistakes and we put it back in a different way and uh that's how we win championships so just have fun with it you know Dream everything, Dream, never stop dreaming. We need, we need the artists to create right now. We need people to use our beautiful imaginations. We need your imaginations more than ever before. So everything is possible, my friends. I love you all, and I will see you in art class real soon. All right then. See you guys. <laughs>